should be more in the shot. I don't want cozying up to just you. Get on, just get on in there, Sean. No, you got issues right now. <laughs> We've established these issues. Do this. Anyway, um, so here's the deal, guys. Um, I'm tired of the mix between Friday Night Flights, the football one, and Friday Night Flights, this one. Uh, so we're going to change this to the name of the website that I have, which is TravisLovesBeer.com. Dot com, bitches. So this show will now be called Travis Loves Beer. It's still three things. So instead of Friday Night Flights, it's Travis Loves Beer. Still works. I gotta change yeah. all my cards, but hey, you know what? I'll give Vista Print more of my money. Hoppy. We're going to go on a hop voyage tonight, but that's because we are in the Mecca of hops. We are in the Yakima Valley in Yakima, aptly named for its valley. We're at Bale Breaker, by the way. They have a cool logo. And this place is a gigantic facility. It's like, it's kind of like um, Avery. When I went there, you, you're driving and there's just nothing. And then it's just, boom, this ridiculously huge thing. This mecca of beer. And their thing, unlike Avery's, which was, you know, very much like, you know, high alcohol, uh, experimental kind of stuff, they're very hop centric. And. Especially this time of year, because this is when you get all the fresh hops. And fresh hops, if you don't know, is when they make a beer and then they add hops at the end. And it, they can either add the same hops or they can have, add a different hop. And it makes it like much more pungent and it gives it a better flavor. Now that all that beard nerd shit is done, let's get fucked up. Blah! Let's start with the one that isn't on this list here, but it's on the board. This is Raging Ditch. You're a raging ditch. I can't, and I'm spilling. That's why I'm such Party a raging foul. ditch. I think it was wet on the bottom. Just like me. Dude. It's pretty good. It's got kind of a nutty flavor. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's a little dry, but I kind of like that roasted flavor. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's actually good. If you guys... Basically, most of the people that watch this show, you live on the other side of the mountains. Sorry you're getting rained on. This is being filmed <laughs> while uh, the uh, apocalypse is happening over there. Make the trip. I mean, it's what, three hours? Two and a half hours to drive to Yakima? I mean, it's, it's a day trip. You could leave in the morning, come here, get all the beer, hit a couple other places around here, and then go home, and you're still home, you know, at a decent hour. So, it's good. Field 41. It's another pale ale. This one, I think, is the, yeah, this is the least ABV on the list. Only four or five. So, technically, it's like a session. Yeah, so, we'll see if it's any good. I mean, I like the, it says grapefruit and pine. Oh, yeah. I like that. Now, see... I'm really getting into pale ales lately because they've all been surprising me. The last couple of breweries I've been to have had really interesting pale ales, but um, yeah. that's good. Like, I mean, you can't the grapefruit isn't that forward, but you can tell it's there. Uh, the pine you can definitely taste that. Honestly, I could take a little more pine. So you're saying you want a little more pine in your mouth? Yeah. Okay. As long as we've established that. <laughs> Top cutter. Now I've had this before. This is hell good. Um, yeah. yeah. I have not. It's a, it's just an IPA, right? Yeah, yeah just with, an IPA. you know, with the some fruitiness, which I may or may not yeah. like, depending on the fruitiness. Yeah, it's good. It's not over the top. It's real easy to drink. I like it. This is one of my favorite go-tos, and I see this, I do see this every once in a while, more it's often a, than the rest of them. It's a really, uh, really light 
Yeah. Like, I get it. Like, mm -hmm. There's not a lot of... No, it, d it doesn't want to hit you with the yeah. punch of the... It, they, they focus more on the sweet with this one than they do with, like, the, the hops. They're not just like... Eh, this is just make it sound like seem like they're sucking on a bag of hops, because we're assholes. <laughs> well, you know, you gotta tap, you gotta have the More pop. pine. So this is just a stronger version of this. With more pine for my mouth. More pine for the mouth. Yeah, it's, this is actually kind of like, uh, it's just very much that, but with a more roasty flavor. Honestly, I'm, I kind of like the top cutter better. This just seems unnecessary. Uh, it's good. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just... I could definitely go for more pine. <laughs> the... I know. I just, I just when set them up. Will there be enough, enough pine to satisfy your mouth, Sean? <laughs> when? When I swallow a Christmas tree. Sweet Christmas. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah. So far, I'm liking the 41 the most, though. Yeah, I like that. And the Raging Ditch was really, really good. You can see that light through my hair. <laughs> I think that means your hair is lacking. Oh, my hair is always lacking. There's actually, this is all a false front. There's so much space back here. Yeah, I know. It's just a very I've thin front. I've seen it. So this is the Citrus Liquor. Uh, this one is brewed in conjunction with uh, Cloudburst, which is a really good brewery. We haven't been to yet, but I mean to go there. So they're right downtown in Seattle. Um, they're good. Ooh, very little details about what this wow. is supposed to taste like. That's really fruity. It's very citrusy, you know, with the citra hops, of course. But like, it really drives it home. I could drink that all day, actually. Yeah, it's not bad. That's really good. It's only like 6'2", so like, you could drink it all day. That's really good. Mmm, I don't know what I'm gonna say. We had a long day. We were at a Comic-Con all day, so... That's what we do. That's how we roll. And this beer tastes awesome after dealing with nerds all day. You're a nerd. I deal with myself all day. Vigorously. <laughs> Under the table. And over the table. <laughs> I can't help where it goes, Sean. <laughs> this one is the Piled High. Oh, this is a Fresh Hop. Imperial Fresh Hop. Imperial Fresh Hop. Yeah, for 7-2, it's not... I, I, I mean... Imperial is like such a riding a line there. Like, seven points? Come on, guys. It's pretty good. It, that's actually really good. The aftertaste is kind of creamy. Like, like a, like a, almost like a milk stout kind of flavor at the end, or cream ale. Kind of, maybe. Mm -hmm. But it definitely doesn't have a punch you would expect from something that's called an Imperial Fresh Hop, especially. By the way, uh, oh. they're, they're, they just have a normal paddle, but then in like this grease pencil stuff, they put what it is on the paddle so that you know what you're drinking. That helps out. I feel like everyone here. should do that. Getting drunk a lot. Any tap house that doesn't do that should be ashamed of themselves. And then if you're with a girl that likes no, BDSM, no. you can beat him with it. No. No. Look, it's so even got holes in it. I, no. And it's black. And it's black. <laughs> so this is the X. The X. Going, Which I you. don't know if I'm gonna like. Ooh. Fruity? Infused with 600 pounds of peaches. Yeah, that's the part what? where I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it. I don't like the peaches. Well, the fruit. Wow! That grabs you. In an alcohol way? or yeah, both. Are you digging it? Because I'm getting another pint of this shit. It's too good. Okay. Unless they don't sell it a pint, they give you one of those little lame ass glasses. Trying to limit. Don't try to limit my alcoholism. I'll just buy three. It's true. At once. Not it's in a row. Bitches. I'll drink them at the same time, too. Bail Drinker's a good spot. 
honestly, you know, I, I go to places and my favorite beers are porters and stouts. Yeah, I'm a dark and, guy. And you're a dark too. beer guy too. So the idea of going to a place that literally has none of that didn't initially seem that appealing, but it's fresh hop season. It's the epicenter of hops in this area, and for most of the world, in fact. I mean, most of the world's hops come from this area. So it's like we kind of just, we went to the source, and this is what the source has to offer, and it's fantastic. Do yourself a favor, get your ass to Bale Breaker. To Yakima! Onward to Yakima! Just come out here, have a day, I think they sell food here. I, don't think they got I food. haven't seen food. I don't think they got food here. I'm a little sad about. So go get some food hungry. first, and then come here, and then go get more food before you drive home, because we don't want you driving on a, a belly full of beer. Which might not be your choice. It's a uh, it's a long way home. How are we gonna do this now? Do we do? Do we? Because we used to go Friday night flights and scream Friday night flights and do them. Flight finger, but now it's not Friday Night Flights. It's Travis Loves Beer. I mean, we you so, can still flight finger. Yeah, but but we ha but the flight finger is the thing. But you, what are you gonna? Flights. What are we gonna scream? What do we say? We, something else about finishing a flight. And the flight has landed. <laughs> yeah. This is so good. Yes, and yes, they gave it to me in a little thing. Big, 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 big glass. Whatever, it's still good. I'm just gonna drink five. The battery's low. <laughs> oh, crap. Okay, we better finish this up. Fuck it, we're gonna do your weird dumb thing. What was my dumb thing? Uh, the flight has landed. <laughs> we're gonna do that. Wait, wait, we'll wait, change wait. it later. I'm changing the name of the show. Who gives a shit? Landed!